the more justice you seek, the more hurt you become. Because there's no thing as justice. There is whatever there is out there. That's it. In other words, if people are conditioned to be racist bigots, if they're brought up in an environment that advocates that, why do you blame the person for it? They're a victim of a subculture. Therefore, they have to be helped. The point is, we have to redesign the environment that produces aberrant behavior. That's the problem, not putting a person in jail. That's why judges, lawyers, freedom of choice, such concepts are dangerous because it gives you misinformation that the person is bad or that person is a serial killer. Serial killers are made just like soldiers become serial killers with a machine gun. They become killing machines, but nobody looks at them as murderers or assassins because that's natural. So we blame people. We say, well, this guy was a Nazi. He tortured Jews. No, he was brought up to torture Jews. Once you accept the fact that people have individual choices and they're free to make those choices, free to make choices means without being influenced. And I can't understand that at all. All of us are influenced in all our choices by the culture we live in, by our parents and by the values that dominate. So we're influenced. So there can't be free choices. What's the greatest country in the world? The true answer, I haven't been all over the world and I don't know, know enough about different cultures to answer that question. I don't know anybody that speaks that way. They say, good old USA, the greatest country in the world. There's no survey. Have you been to India? No. Have you been to England? No. Have you been to France? No. Uh, what do you make your assumptions on? They can't answer. They get mad at you. They say, well, God damn it, who the hell are you to tell me what to think? You know, don't forget, you're dealing with aberrated people. They're not responsible for their answers. They're victims of culture. That means they've been influenced by their culture. <laughs>